Let's take a look at our tangent x curve, shall we? Right, in front of us is actually the curve of y equal to tangent x, okay? Uh, between the domain of um, 0 to 2 pi. Alright? So, well, this is how it looks like. Okay, that you realize that there it is not a continuous curve like our sine curve or our, and our cosine curve. It is actually broken into pieces. All right, and of course we'll talk a bit about why this happens. Okay, why there's this vertical asymptote and so on. All right, so let us uh, try to understand uh, why our tangent curve looks the way it looks like. Now, to fully understand how our tangent curve looks the way it looks like okay we have to first remember that actually we mentioned this before earlier on that tangent x is actually the same as sine x divided by cosine x isn't it okay so what happens here as you can see I'm, I'm showing here on screen all the three different trigger ratio curves okay we have our sine x here and this is our cosine x and of course uh, this is our tangent x which is the focus for this uh, section so let us first you know, investigate our sine x and our cosine x. Now, what do we know, right? Let's say when x is equal to zero, right? You know that well. Uh, sine x is equal to zero because sine zero will give you zero. Now, when x is equal to zero, cosine zero is one. Okay. So since tangent x is equal to sine x over cosine x, now we know that well. When x is equal to zero, tangent zero will be, of course, equal to sine zero over cosine 0 and of course sine 0 being 0 right this is 0 over 1 so naturally tangent 0 will be 0 so we have a, dip, a point here uh, what is more interesting will be this little angle here that we mentioned before as well uh, in our special angle section okay so you may want to take a look at our special angle now this is 1 quarter pi if you can't see it clearly okay I apologize for the small prints here because our space is rather limited here all right so now 0 0.25 pi all right is actually pi over 4 all right so pi over 4 is actually our 45 degrees in degree all right so this is in radian Right, pi over 4. We know from the special angle that sine pi over 4 is the same as cosine pi over 4. Right? Of course, this is also pi over 4. Why? Now, remember that we mentioned before that sine theta is equal to cosine 90 degrees minus theta. So when we have sine 45 degrees, we will have 45 degrees at the cosine side as well. Alright, so this is why sine 45 degrees and cosine 45 degrees will give us the same answer. Now, how does it affect our tangent, you may ask? Well, simple, isn't it? Well, since when x is equal to pi over 4, or that means 45 degrees, we know that sine pi over 4 and cosine pi over 4 are the same value, isn't it? Okay, uh, in fact, this value is uh, 1 over square root 2 that we actually mentioned in the special angle. Okay, so 1 over square root 2 is actually equivalent to uh, 0 0.707, alright, so you may use a calculator to verify that. Alright, the point is, alright, sine 45 degrees is the same as cosine 45 degrees, you have the same value. So, when you have tangent, that means to say we have 1 over square root 2 divided by 1 over square root 2, that naturally gives us 1. So, we know that, well, tangent pi over 4 is equal to 1, because the sine value and the cosine value is the same. Alright, so at this point here, okay, this is 1. Alright, correspondingly, this is 1. You know, as we proceed on, we realize that there is, hey, you know, something a little bit strange here. Is at this point called 0 0.5 pi. Alright, 0 0.5 pi is obviously our pi over 2, okay, which is 90 degrees. What happens here? What happens here that result in this vertical asymptote? Well, let's take a look. Now, when x is equal to 90 degrees, that means pi over 2, okay, we will have sine as 1, okay, this point here is the value 1. When x is 0 0.5 pi, which means also here pi over 2, our cosine is at 0, okay? So what happens here would be obviously tangent pi over 2 will then result in 1 over 0. And of course, every one of us knows that, hey, you know, you can't take a number and divide by 0. It is infinity. There's no such thing. It's undefined. And that is why tangent cannot take the value of 
90 degrees right you can try pressing your calculator tangent 90 degrees right you will get error okay an error reading in your calculator so that is why you know it results in an asymptote a vertical asymptote that looks like this so of course we can proceed on and uh, we will see point by point all right how this tangent curve takes its shape like that okay and in fact there is one more asymptote here okay and that is at 1.5 pi 1.5 pi is obviously our 3 over 2 pi okay and right in the middle here it is 1 pi based on what we mentioned earlier on right, remember that this three goal curves are always divided into four equal parts right from 0 to 90 degrees is considered one quadrant okay and of course from 90 degrees to 180 degrees okay is the second quadrant third quadrant and of course lastly the fourth quadrant okay so as you can see here tangent in the first quadrant is positive tangent in the second quadrant is negative tangent in the third quadrant is positive and tangent in the fourth quadrant is negative remember the all science teacher crazy thing all these details that we just discussed actually are all linked together so this is how our tangent curve right, is related to our sine curve and our cosine curve. This is the enlarged version of our tangent curve, okay, so that you can have a closer look, a better look at it. This, all right, uh, when you draw your tangent curve, you, know, you have to be very, very careful. I've seen a lot, a lot of students get marks um, deducted for silly reasons, okay? Uh, one of the most common reasons would be, you know, when they draw, okay, they tend to draw it this way. Remember that this vertical line here, this vertical dotted line, of which you have to add in your graphs or in your sketch, okay, is pi over two. Right? This is the vertical asymptote. Now, what it means is that your x, or rather your 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 graph, cannot cut through this value because your x cannot take up this value. All right? You cannot substitute in x equals pi over two into our tangent x. That means to say we cannot tangent pi over two, or we cannot tangent ninety degrees. Okay, in this case, we also cannot tangent 3 over 2 pi. Uh, that means to say we also cannot tangent 270 degrees. Okay, so in our curve, we have to reflect that. Okay, we cannot sketch a curve that seems like it's going to touch uh, the asymptote. Okay, like this. This is, um, you know, incorrect. Okay, you cannot draw a curve like this. Now, when you draw your tangent curve, you have to add in the dotted line for asymptotes, okay? Also, you have to label the equation of asymptote, alright? So you got to uh, tell people that, well, this is uh, x equals to pi over 2, this is, well, x equals to 3 pi over 2, alright? So you must label your asymptote. Now, the graph shown here okay which is a tangent curve for up to 2 pi now these three parts so called okay is actually one period okay so one period or rather one cycle okay one full cycle as you can see is from 0 to 2 pi is one full circle so one full cycle looks like this all right now lastly you may notice that there is no maximum value or minimum value for tangent curve Okay, there's no such thing as a, a greatest magnitude, okay, or a lowest magnitude for our tangent curve. Okay, so this is what it is for tangent x.